All right, thank you, Jerry. Some weren't ready for the first round of rain. Others are bracing for a second soaker. WWAY's Chris Allen's live in the control room tonight. Chris, this rain has been a real mess. That's right, Greg. Looking outside this afternoon, some people might have thought it was all over, but that was just the calm before the storm again. I talked to a meteorologist at the National Weather Service who says don't put away those umbrellas just yet because it's only going to get wetter before it gets drier. It rained, it poured, and it's not through with us yet. So on top of the rain we already had yesterday, we're still expecting another 7 to even 11 inches of rain in some locations. New Center Drive in the Port City was nothing short of a small lake after the heavy rain swept through, but now it's back to business as usual for now. This is the street yesterday. This is New Center now, almost totally drained out. With streets like New Center Drive flooding out so quickly, some people wonder why the city hasn't done anything about the drainage problem. The city's Dylan Lee says backed up water flow comes down to cash flow. The city has in, uh, planned improvements to that area uh, there, to the tune of about six and a half million dollars. Uh, the uh, beginnings of that will occur in about four years with regards to design and uh, acquisition of uh, easements. Driving through high water is dangerous and can ruin your vehicle. Towing companies have been hard at work helping people who tried to make their way through the water only to realize it was too much for their car to handle. Wayne's Towing estimates they've towed over 50 cars out of high water. And that's just today, the day after the flooding. When lots of rain falls in a short period of time, sometimes the soil can't absorb it all. And Stephen Paff says that causes problems. If it can't hold any more water, that rainfall is going to instantly run off. And where we do get the runoff is where we're going to have the flooding problems. While the rain is needed in our area, it comes at a price to our environment. Getting the number one pollution of our coastal waters is polluted stormwater runoff. All the bacteria, all the grease and oil off the vehicles and dog feces and dog waste and animal waste and wildlife waste ends up in our waters. Now, Ohio Patrol says obviously people shouldn't try to drive through water on roads because there's no telling how deep it could actually be. And they say that sometimes people hear that, but they still don't understand why they should take caution. Highway Patrol says the road under the water could actually be washed out. That forms a pit that could be deep enough to drown anyone in the vehicle. Pretty scary stuff.